Hi guys, welcome to my Christmas gift guide video. I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited for Christmas in general, so I'm excited to be doing a little gift guide for you guys. I did do a Christmas gift guide last year as well, and it was so fun, so hopefully this will be beneficial for you guys. So I'm gonna go through, I have things for women, for men, I have stocking stuffer ideas, so I have all of the ideas here. There's over a hundred um, for just like gift ideas. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll find something on here. There's all different price ranges and I am going to kind of break it down by category. So I'm gonna start with women and then I'll go to men and then I'll go to um, just like stocking stuffer type stuff as well. Okay, so I also will have a link in the description box for uh, where you can find most of the items. If it's from Amazon, it'll probably be linked in one of the links below. If it's not from Amazon, I will put the link below as well. Um, if you do use the Amazon link that I have below for any items, it's gonna bring you over to my um, Amazon storefront. And on there, I do make commission off of it if you purchase it from that link. It's no extra cost to you. And if you want to like not purchase it from my link, you can just look up what it is on Amazon and it'll come right up there. So both works totally fine. So yeah, most of these things will be linked, uh, linked and I do not have um, a sponsor for this video or anything like that. So I have my list right here of everything and I'm going to be reading off of it. So if you look, see me looking down, that is why. Um, but let's get started. So I'm gonna start with home goods type stuff. So this will range from like kitchen to bedroom to living room, whatever the heck it is. Um, so no specific order, anything like that. I'll tell you guys where it's from as well. Um, most of these things are gonna be like pretty easy to find on Amazon. So yeah, that's always helpful as well. Okay, first up we got silk pillowcases. There's a really good brand called Kit Kitsch. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's Kit and then S-C-H after it and they're like spaced out. So um, I'm not sure if that's the brand name, but I will put it on the screen for you guys so you can see the brand name. Okay, the next one is a Pura fragrance diffuser and you can buy that. You can't buy it on Amazon or at least I couldn't find it on Amazon. Um, I'm actually gonna put this on my list this year. It's like a little... Uh, obviously fragrance diffuser. So it's like an air freshener. You plug it into the wall. I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like as well. Um, it's like $45, I believe. And you buy the little uh, things for it and you put them in and you can control it from an app, I'm pretty sure. Um, so if like you're traveling and you want the house to smell good when you get back, you can turn it on and program it and stuff too, so. Okay, and then that brings me into just candles. Candles are always a really good gift. I love getting candles. I've been into candles more recently. I get a lot of mine at Target. Um, this is actually one of my favorite ones. It was from Target. And it's vanilla pumpkin uh, scent and it smells so freaking good. Like any vanilla uh, ones are just like it for me. I love it. Christmas cookie scents are so good as well. Um, but obviously there's a, a bunch of different ones you could get, but that's always a really good gift for sure. Or something to give with something else too. Um, okay. A Google home, I feel like is very popular right now. There's ones that you can get. Obviously these range in prices depending on which one you get. Um, but there's like one you can get or an echo. I think those are different possibly. Um, but it has like a screen on it and you can sit it like right in your kitchen and just like ask it things and also um, It'll like show a display of like the weather and traffic and whatever you want it to like show on there um, And you can watch videos from it as well. So I thought that was really cool and that'd be a good gift for like grandparents or um, Just anyone really that wants that or spends a lot of time like in the kitchen or something, too. Okay, extra long chargers. These can be a like 
present with something else or it can be like a stocking stuffer too. I feel like extra long chargers everyone could use, especially when you are traveling. I travel a lot and literally this happened to me last time I traveled like two weeks ago. I went to South Carolina and the plugs on the walls were so far away from the bed and all I wanted to do was like look through the rest of my day, like what I did that day at night and like I don't know, scroll a little bit on Instagram and see what everyone is up to since I missed it and I couldn't do that. I was so mad. So um, extra long chargers is definitely something that would be a really good gift and very useful as well. Also not very expensive obviously too, especially if you get them on Amazon. Okay, the next one is a Ninja Foodie. I got this last year. I think it was last year for Christmas um, from my dad. It was the eight in one or nine in one, uh, something like that. Um, I have the exact one on my um, Amazon storefront, um, but this is so useful. If you're someone that's like trying to prep ahead for the week for food, highly, highly recommend this one. It's a slow cooker, it air fries, it does pretty much like literally everything. I haven't even dove into everything that it does um, yet, but we use it a lot for a slow cooking chicken. We literally buy like packs of chicken, put it in the slow cooker. We're actually doing it right now. Uh, put it in the slow cooker and then you set it for four hours and it's like pulled chicken and you have it for the rest of the week. So if you're someone that needs something like that, highly recommend the Ninja Foodie. Um, or if you have like a boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other um, or parent or something like that that's really into fitness, this would be a really good gift for them because they're probably meal prepping their foods and trying to eat healthier and this is going to help out a ton. It saves so much time. So highly recommend that one. The Keurig um, with the pod so you can get that as like a gift set. This would be really good for anyone that like works from home or um, anyone that doesn't work from home that just like makes coffee in the morning and wants to save and doesn't like necessarily go to Starbucks or Dunkin or anything like that. That would be a really good gift for them and you can like package the pods with it as a separate or gift or something too. Um, so that would be really good. Next we have some gym things. So if this person has a home gym or if they're into working out or trying to get into working out and they want to start out at home, buying them dumbbells or um, depending on like how far they're going into things, you can do a weight bench, a hip thrust bench. Um, the glute guy, he has a really great hip thrust bench if they're like pretty into fitness and they are trying to like stock up on home things uh, for that, that would be a really great gift. You could also get a barbell or plates or something like that too so if you want to go that deep into things. You could also get this person a gym membership if they are like wanting to go to the gym instead of getting all that equipment. But if they're wanting to like build up a home gym or start from home, simple things like that would be really helpful. Okay, mugs would be a really great option um, if you, again, don't wanna spend a lot of money and you can like fill them with little chocolates or something too. I think that would be so cute. Um, or you could fill it with little like hot cocoa packets or whatever it is. The Ember mug, if someone works from home, I think this would be like perfect. It's not cheap, I will say, <laughs> it's not cheap. Um, it does come with an app so you can control the temperature of your drink. Like if it's been sitting there and you wanna warm it back up for a little bit before you drink it like let's say you made it you didn't get to drink it hopped into a meeting you don't want to waste it you could just heat it during the meeting and then as soon as that's over take a sip and it's warm still so I thought that was a really cool gift so this would be like if the person works from home probably I guess they could bring it to work depending on like what their office looks like maybe um but it seems really cool so i thought that was a really thoughtful gift it's about a hundred dollars on amazon right now i believe so or there's different sizes too so it ranges a little bit but i think like the medium size was like a hundred or something like that um, so that was pretty cool. You could get someone a charging station. Um, I have one and I love it. The next thing is artifact uprising frames. I really want to get some frames of, oh, I almost just knocked over <laughs> my little light here. Um, I wanna get some frames of uh, me and Andrew and our engagement photos. Um, and I wanna get 
three like big ones and hang them behind our couch because we have like a long wall uh there so i think it would look really good but i want like good quality frames too because i want to put our wedding photos in there uh one day too so um yeah, I, our Artifact Uprising is a really great brand, but they are a little bit expensive. You can find other brands, obviously, too, um, for frames. So that's just like a general idea, but that's the brand that I was kind of like looking at. So I thought that was a good idea as well. Glass straws and cups. I think this is a really cool idea, um, especially like the little tumbler cups. I feel like that's really cute. Um, and the glass straws, obviously you can just like reuse them too. So that's definitely something uh, that's like aesthetic, cute and reusable obviously. So you can keep using it. Um, 100% bamboo sheets. I saw someone, I can't remember who it was, but they had this in a video and I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting those. Those are on my list this year. So I put those on my list and <laughs> they're on Amazon. I found them and linked them in my um, storefront. So you guys will see them there if you are uh, curious about those. I just heard they are just really cool. They hit different. So yeah, I want those. Um, and then also just like a very soft, like comfy blanket. I feel like a throw blanket you could always uh, gift to someone and everyone will love it. So that's a really good idea as well. Moving into work slash office type stuff, especially home office for some of these things. So blue light glasses are really good. Uh, obviously, if you're staring at a screen all day like me, it can be really not great for your eyes so highly recommend blue light glasses if you are a laptop stand oh my gosh the way that this changes your work day is crazy highly recommend one of these there's a ton of them on amazon i got mine from amazon and i love it i use it every single day and it's just like you're not like looking down like this typing you can like actually look up you can type down here i have a little keyboard uh that i use which i'll try to find i don't think that's on my storefront yet but i'll try to find it and link it there um but i type down here and i can actually look straight instead of looking down and it saves your neck so much <laughs> if you work from home you definitely need to get one of these you get actual like extra depth desktop will be good. I have the Acer brand and it wasn't like super, super expensive. Um, it was kind of like right in the middle there and it works great. It's just an extra uh, screen to look at. So I have like multiple pages up when I work. So if someone has that, obviously that can help a lot and that can upgrade your work from home space a lot as well. On to actual desks. So if you work from home or this person works from home, um, the flexi spot desk is really great. It's a sit stand desk, so you can change it. Um, I'll link what it, mine looks like and then what it looks like like on the website as well. But flexi spot has really good like shipping and customer service and stuff like that. So if you do need a desk, highly recommend sit stand if you're working from home. And laptop wise uh if anyone is in need of a new laptop macbook pro or macbook air i used to have the pro and now i have the air and i just like it so much better it's smaller more minimal um which i like a lot and yeah it works very well for me so um highly recommend that and a planner if the person that you're gifting to is a big like planner or likes to write things down i highly recommend that um blue sky is a great brand i think my brand the one i'm using right now is it's called day designer um but i always use blue sky too so they all work really well um i like the daily ones so i can like write out my day like hourly and i can see it like that so um, I think that's always a good one to get. On to hair, makeup, skincare, all that fun stuff. Um, if you are shopping for a woman or you are a woman and you're looking for ideas, this will help a little bit. So the Heritage Argon Oil uh, for your hair is supposed to be really good. This is on my list this year. Heritage Heat Protector or Dry Bar Heat Protectant. Um, all of those things are kind of on my list this year. I really want the Dry Bar one because I heard it smells really good. <laughs> um, so I think it's called like Hotty Toddy Dry Bar. I don't know something like that um so yeah it's all linked on my storefront so you'll see it there the next thing is 24k gold under eye mask and i've been using these things a lot and i'm gifting them um as well so highly recommend these i think they work pretty well other end of 
pretty expensive here. We have the Air Pro 2. Uh, I think it's the Lux Air Pro 2. If that, I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's just like the hair um, styler. So it's a curler, a dryer, I think, a straightener. Like it has all these different attachments. It's pretty up there. So this is a big gift. Um, I think any woman would want it. So <laughs> if you're buying for a significant other, this is probably a good gift. Um, also with that would be the Dyson Airwrap. So those are kind of two of similar products. So I think they're like competing products. So both of them I've heard really great things about and they're both on my list this year. I want one or the other. I'm not both one or the other, <laughs> but um, those are on my list as well. Okay, I use Olaplex. If you don't use Olaplex, highly recommend uh, the shampoo, conditioner, and the number three like hair uh, mask treatment thingy. Uh, those are my go-tos, um, and I use them every time I wash my hair. Um, a lot of people use them, and they're just great. They make your hair silky smooth, um, which I love, and they just protect your hair as well, especially the number three one. I can't remember what it, if it's like a mask or like. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, I've been using it for a couple of years now and um, they just came out with the liter bottles. So they're like, I think they're pretty big, um, but they are a little expensive. But if your girl uses Olaplex, like every time she washes her hair, it's probably gonna come in handy and she'll literally thank you forever for it because it's not fun to like have to buy shampoo and conditioner. So um, that's a really great gift. They also sell just like the regular sizes, like gift sets um, as well on, you can buy it on Amazon or you can buy it on their actual website if you want like the package of all three or a certain three or something like that too. Okay, the next thing is what I use for um, a self tanner and it's the Jergens uh, Instant Sun self tanner. I use the color Deep. Highly recommend that if you're looking for a good like tanning product or if your girl self tans or something too. It's a really good product. The CC Plus Cream, it's like a foundation, uh, full coverage foundation, but it feels like good on your skin. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, I use the color neutral tan when I'm like not as tan and the color tan when I'm like pretty tan. Um, and those work really, really well for me. Um, I love that foundation. That's like my favorite and I've tried so many. So that's my favorite. Okay. The Kylie Cosmetics lip kits are really great. I'm actually wearing like the lip liner from one of them, but I ran out of the lip, uh, lipstick. So this is on my list, two of these this year. I think there's, I can't remember the exact names of them, but one of them is just like the Kylie one. Um, and then there's another one on there as well for the lip kits. And they're actually not like super expensive. I was kind of expecting them to be more expensive than they were, um, but they weren't as expensive as I thought. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that'll work. I'll put a couple on there. If you're, the person you're buying for gets their nails done a lot, a nails like gift card would be perfect. Like where the, wherever they go to the salon, um, it's about, I mean, for me, I just as a general idea, if you are a guy and you don't know how much to get, I would get like a hundred dollars. That would probably pay for a manicure, pedicure, and then either that or you, she might have like a little bit left over possibly. It's on my list. I have seen almost every single person talk about this um, and I really wanna try it out. The Laneige, Lang, Laneige, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Laneige Sweet Dream Trio. So it's like a lip mask um, and like a lip gloss and a, I don't know, something like that. But I really wanna try it because everyone and their mothers are talking about it. So it's on my list this year for sure and you can get it from Sephora. Okay, moving into shoes. Oh, also I forgot. Um, if you're looking for like good skincare in general and you work out, the Frey skincare brand is really good. I didn't, I stopped using them as much uh, with their face wash because I use a different face wash um, that I really like and like works really well with my skin, but theirs worked really well too. I just have a lot of like leftover um, like creams and stuff that I had from them and it works really, really well. So I do recommend them if you're looking for like a skincare set or something. And if, uh, the person you're buying for works out a lot, it's like a workout skincare brand, I believe. So 
yeah, that works very well too. Okay, I had to go check on my dog because she was barking. Bella, come here. You want to say hi to the YouTube fam? Come here. Come up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, she's gone. I'm going to let her back. Onto shoes, we have a lot of Nike ones on here. Nike Air Max 270 is my go-to like gym shoe. This is a running shoe, I believe. Um, if you're walking a lot or running or just like, I I wear these on upper body days in the gym. Um, this is like my go-to. I have the white and black one. Uh, the all weight is really cool too. Um, Nike Air Forces are my go-to whenever I'm doing like content pictures and stuff like that because they're all white. Um, and I think they just like are a chunkier shoe and they look good. Nike Blazers are my favorite like lower body lifting shoe. Um, L.L. Bean slippers are my, or moccasins, L.L. Bean moccasins um, are my favorite. And I wear them all the time just like as a comfier shoe, but you can wear it out. So whenever I want to be comfy out, uh, that's what I wear. <laughs> There's a really good slipper that I got from Amazon last year, but it's been sold out for months, so I don't think it's restocking, but I found almost identical ones, but I haven't tried them out yet, but they obviously look great. They look like the same thing, um, and these I linked uh, below. It's just like an all-weight fuzzy slipper. They're super comfy. I'll show you guys mine. Let me see right now. This is what it looks like basically. Mine is like, I've been wearing this thing to the ground because <laughs> I wear it every day. Um, obviously the other ones look a little fluffier, um, but these, I, I freaking love them. I think they're so comfy. Um, so highly recommend those for a little gift for any woman. Obviously that would work really well. And in the summer, I wear slides a lot, um, especially this past summer. The Alphalete slides are really, really great. Highly recommend those. Okay, so next we're moving on to tech. So for this, I have a few different things. AirPods are definitely one of them. Um, I just feel like AirPods are one of the best, like most minimal thing that you can get. And I really like that about them a lot. Um, so AirPod Pros are the ones that I have and they, I'm literally wearing it right now, actually. And you can't even tell, which is something that I really like about that. Um, but they have the, um, noise reduction on it and, or noise cancellation. I think it's noise cancellation and you just click the setting and it blocks out all of the background noise. So at the gym, it's really nice to like tune into your workout. If you don't have that yet, I highly recommend that. And it's a really great gift too. Um, uh, Apple watch is a great gift as well. I also know Garmin is getting up there. If you're a runner, um, it's getting very popular. I don't run, but I've seen that a lot lately. Um, the aura ring is amazing. I absolutely love it. If you're into like knowing about your like recovery and your sleep and stuff like that. Um, it's very helpful. It tells you your recovery score. Um, it tells you your sleep score and it literally will track your entire sleep, like REM sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, um, when you're awake and stuff like that. So it's really cool to see all of that. Um, it will also track your workouts. If you wear it while you work out or do a certain activity, it will track that and it'll track naps and it'll tell you your body temperature. So, you know, if you're getting sick or, um, if you're getting your period and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool to see that kind of stuff. Um, all that information. So if you're into that, highly recommend the Aura Ring. The only annoying thing about the Aura Ring right now is they just made uh, a membership part of it. So you have to, if you purchase an Aura Ring to have the app, you have to pay a membership monthly, um, but it's not very expensive, so it's fine. But it's just annoying because they never used to have it and now they have it, but it is what it is. Um, and then the birdie alarm is another thing that I saw a lot of people getting. It's on my list this year. Um, it's basically like this little thing you carry around and you can like pull it. I think you pull it or something. I don't know the details, um, but that will trigger an alarm and it'll send out a text or of your location, I believe, to whoever you have it linked to. And then it'll also like alert 
the police or something or call the police or something like that um so if you're someone that like walks around outside a lot um or you're in a major city or maybe you have late classes or something like that or someone you know has those things i would highly recommend getting that for them i think it's really helpful and it just makes you feel safer but that's there and then i think you can get that on amazon um beats headphones are the other headphones that i have on my list i love beats i've used beats for a long time i currently have the like matte all black ones um and they're my favorite i use them for um the gym and i swap between my airpods and my beats for the gym it just depends on like Honestly, it depends on my hair wash day. So if I just washed my hair and it's within the first one to two days of washing my hair, I'll wear my AirPods. But if it's after that and it's like hair wash day or the day before, I'll wear my Beats because Beats go overhead. Um, so yeah, I will wear those. Because the next thing I'm gonna move into, the next category is going to be travel um, and like car stuff. So we have first for travel is something that I really want. It's on my list this year. I need a new suitcase so bad because the wheel on mine is broken and I've been looking into like the best ones. There's like, I think it's called Bays or Bess, Bays, Bays, B-E-I-S. Um, and that is supposed to be a really great suitcase, but it's so expensive like so expensive and I was like I'm not spending that on a suitcase um so if you have money to drop you can get that but the one I'm looking at is one of the like top rated ones on Amazon it's called cool life luggage and it looks really really great it's a hard case um they have all different sizes I just want like the big one um but they also have like a three pack of like the big one the medium one the small one which is the one that fits in like the airplane um, so if you don't want to check your bag, you have that option, but if you need a bigger size, you can get the three piece so you have other sizes. Um, so that's really cool and it's hard case, like I said, and it, um, has a lock on it, which I really like too. Um, so I think I'm gonna, that is definitely on my list this year and hopefully I'll get that. I really want it uh, and I really need it too. I like favorited it. It's like one of my <laughs> top choices. But if you travel a lot, that will be very useful to have just like a good solid suitcase and i feel like the hard cases are just coming in handy um for traveling because they literally toss around your bags like so much so i'm like might as well get the hard case i've never had anything happen but just in case the car stuff i found on amazon there's some really cool things here that i'm going to be buying for some people in my life um so a car trash can i think that is super cool obviously you it's so small so you can't like fit a ton of things in there so it would never get to the point where it's like smelling or anything and also i feel like i just have like a lot of like papers and receipts and like maybe like candy wrappers and stuff like that in the car so somewhere to like collectively put that i feel like would be really uh good so your car doesn't look like crap when people get into it um there's also like this car gel cleaner um which i think is really cool um and it's just like a gel and you take it out of the little box thingy and you can clean out like your coasters like any little stuff like you can literally uh just put that in there and like squish it down and then take it out and like it'll be pretty clean after that so i think that's really cool it's pretty cheap so um you won't have to like spend a lot of money on it it could literally be like a stocking stuffer um i feel like everyone could use that type of thing um and then I had car coasters as well. I think that's a really good idea. Um, that way you can like pick up the coaster and not have to like clean out the bottom of your thing if it gets disgusting. So I thought that was cool, but I think that's it for uh, traveling um, and like car stuff. Next category is games and books. I have a lot for this category because I love reading. Um, I will say all of these books are like romance books, they're fiction. So um, if your person's not into that, whoever you're buying for, obviously don't get that. Um, but Colleen Hoover, if you haven't read any of her books, uh, you definitely need to if you like romance um, because it, they're just like so good i love her um so here are my top ones from her all of her books are really good i read them all like very quickly because they're all so good so any book is good but the top ones that people talk about the most and my favorites i'll read off so reminders of him so good 
so good so good so good um it starts with us and it ends with us you have to read it ends with us first and then it starts with us because it's a series um ugly love oh my god i that uh that one was my all-time favorite i think i'm gonna read it again soon um but ugly love was so good and then verity it, this one's more it's still romance but it's like spooky um so yeah that's a good one if you like um suspense slash spooky type stuff um that's definitely a good one um that's her only one that's like that i think or she might have one more that's like that but i didn't read it the merit one i think that one maybe might be like that but i didn't read that one because i like couldn't get into it verity on the other hand is so good um november 9 is really good highly recommend that one as well so those are my favorites um if you're just starting out reading colleen hoover i would read one of those for sure my other books that are not colleen hoover but i read and are very very good um the hating game i don't know who these are by because i didn't write it down <laughs> If you have specific questions, just let me know, but I'll put everything on the screen. Um, so The Hating Game, The Off Limits Rule, very good. Uh, Things We Never Got Over, so good. It's a thick book, I will say. It's like thick, like this thick. But I like took a while to start reading it because I, I, it was so thick. I was like, oh man, this is gonna take me forever. But it ended up being like a book I couldn't put down. It was really good. Um, the Love Hypothesis was so good. Like, oh, all of these were so good. So I'm going to say that about everyone. The Spanish Love Deception, very good. I was nervous that it was going to be like partly in Spanish and I wasn't going to be that into it because I like couldn't understand some of it, but it wasn't like that at all. Um, it was definitely a really great book. Um, Love on the Brain and The Hate Zone are the other ones. And yeah, all of those were my favorites this year so far. So highly recommend any of these books. Colleen Hoover would be my first go-to if I had to suggest one of them. Um, but these other books are very good. You can't go wrong with any of them if the person you're buying for likes romance, like fiction books. Um, games, uh, We're Not Really Strangers is really really good uh for a game if it, you want to like get to know someone better um it's just like icebreaker questions and then there's also like deeper questions um and it categorizes it for you so that's a really good game um if you want to play with like close friends or family or uh your significant other anything like that there's different ones that they have so i would just look at the different bundles and find which one you want uh based off the people that you're playing with or the person or whatever it is jewelry next so i am just like not super big into jewelry but i do like um like gold jewelry as of lately mostly earrings i will say um i found this really cute like necklace set that i want i had to change my battery and my camera because we were dying over here so i just took a little break um okay we were going through jewelry so um, e. Newton bracelets. I think these are so cute. So highly recommend some of those if you're looking into jewelry for uh, whoever you're buying for. Uh, gold jewelry is really in right now, but definitely look at what this person wears if it's gold or silver because people have like specific things that they like. So I really like gold. Um, but yeah, just look at that first before you buy anything. Um, Kendra Scott jack ring I think is so cute. I saw someone post this the other day and I was like, Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna go put that on my list. <laughs> Gold hoops. I have three in my ears. I have like a thick one to start and then like skinnier as they go um, and smaller. So uh, Amazon has a ton of gold hoop earrings. Um, I just always try to get like brands that I feel like aren't gonna like tarnish. Uh, Majori, I think that's how you say it, is supposed to be pretty good. I do have, I think my middle one is from there. Um, the other one is from... I want to say I got it at like Marshall's, but it did like some of them tarnish and some of them don't. So I honestly don't know how to tell, but there's some good brands that don't. So definitely look into it a little bit. Um, but gold hoop earrings, like small ones are very in right now. Um, I don't know how to say this bobble or bobble. Yeah, it's gotta be bobble. Bobble Star Layered um, Necklace is very cute. It's on Amazon. I linked it on my uh, 
storefront so you guys can find it there but it looks really really cute um so i'm excited to try that that's on my list as well um okay that's all i have for jewelry i don't really wear a lot like i said oh i do have if you are uh someone that has like needs a ring cleaner the one i got i forget what it's called let me go see it's the Maui, it's called, I think. Uh, jewelry cleaner for gold, silver, diamond, and precious stones. I use it for my engagement ring. Um, and it works like wonders. I highly recommend it. It's right from Amazon. I'll have to link that on my storefront too because I don't think that's on there yet. On to clothes. I feel like I have a lot of clothes that I suggested last year. Um, I'm not going to suggest that many this year, but I do have some staple pieces that I've just been wearing a ton that I do want to tell you guys about. Um, Lululemon aligns, obviously this, everyone says this, I feel like, um, but these are a staple in almost every girl's, uh, closet so this is definitely important um i wear a four um i have them in a ton of colors black is just my go-to all the time i don't really wear a lot of the other colors anymore so black um flare yoga pants are coming back in style and i think they're so cute i got mine from airy um i can't remember exactly the name of them but i'll put them on the screen um they also have these from gymshark and you can get them from Lulu as well, but you don't necessarily need to. Lulu's kind of expensive, so um, you don't need them from there, but the other brands I have are really great too, so. Um, okay, I don't know how to say this word. Comed or Kiomud? crop vest this is the vest i showed in my last youtube video it's a little crop vest um and it's very very cute it's like a puffer vest um and it's cropped and very in style right now um especially for fall and winter paragon um is a like fitness wear brand um that i have been recently um working with a little bit more um not exclusively but i work with them sometimes um they have really great clothes um I, this video is not sponsored by them at all i'm actually wearing one of their things right now i just these pieces i really really like there's some that aren't my favorite there's some that are i'm going to show you my favorites um this is so cute it's a half zip um obviously you can see the zip here and it's a crop and I, this is a medium so that you guys can see it on me um I think this is so cute. I literally wear it all the time. So highly recommend this. I wish I could tell you what it was called. I think it's just, oh, it's called the warm up half zip. So I want to get this in like literally every color and I might <laughs> get it in every color. Um, it's so comfy. Um, and again, I got a medium. I sized up for my like normal size because I like my hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff to be like a little bit looser on me. Um, Paragon joggers. I was wearing them this morning, literally. Um, they're the air fit. Oh, there's two that I like. The warm up joggers are my absolute favorite from them. Again, sized up to a medium, um, to have them a little bit baggier. Um, and the air fit ones are the new ones that they just came out with. I like them a lot as well. I size up to a medium. Um, the waistband, I just like better on the warm up ones. So they're honestly both great they're a little bit different material the warm-up ones are like softer um or like fuzzier i guess you could say and the uh air fit ones are like silkier smoother like that type of material that's it from paragon for right now i also have a really cute paragon hat um if you want like a plain hat that's like minimal it's all white it just has like a very small like logo it just says paragon right on it on the front in black writing and it's very small um i don't wear thing like hats and stuff that have like a lot of like stuff on them um so i like the minimal look um so that i've been wearing a lot too um you'll see it on their website but i'll also link it here um okay on to workout leggings Alphalete is my number one go-to for leggings. Navigation is a very close second. Navigation contour leggings, I wear a small. Um, Alphalete Amplify leggings are my absolute favorites. I wear a small, um, so just true to size for those. Um, yeah, everything about those are just perfect. I recommend them every year and to every person that asks me what leggings to get, to get for the gym. Um, those ones are just like, I don't know. 
there's something about them and they're perfect um nike uh crew neck it's like the little symbol one I f i'll put a picture in of it i forget exactly what it's called i'll show you guys and link it um but they're like oversized crew necks i have black or geez I have a white and I have like a tan one. Um, I wear those things all the time. I got them last year and I swear to God, I wear them like every single day. Um, highly recommend those. Um, jeans, I fit jeans are one of my favorite for like fancier, like going out jeans, more casual jeans. I like to wear um, mom jeans from like Forever 21. I thought of another one, the like, what is it called? The Teddy Teddy jacket, I think, something like that. I'll link it so you guys can see it. Um, but the Teddy jacket from Gymshark, I think it's so cute and it's like slightly cropped. It's full length, but it's like not like super long. And I think I got a small or a medium, I can't remember. Um, I'll put it on the screen, but um, if they still have that, highly recommend it. I wear this thing all the time. I can't believe I forgot it. Um, okay, now I'm done with clothes. <laughs> On to accessories. Um, so some of this is gonna be like home stuff, but I just put it in the accessory category because I don't know, it could be anything. Um, hydro jug, hydro shaker. I just bought like four today. Hopefully no one's watching this that is getting one. Um, but I just bought four for my people today. Um, I have their uh, Hydro Shaker. It's like the leopard print one, I think, or cheetah print, something like that. It's all black though. Um, and it just has like the subtle print on it and it's so cute. I love it and I use it all the time. I literally just washed it. So right now I'm using this cup, which is also on my list. If you guys can find this, hopefully this will focus. Let me see. If you guys can find this, Highly recommend getting that. I love this thing. Clear water bottles with, with a straw make it so easy to drink water. Also the Hydro Jug glass jug. Um, these are like amazing. I have the all white one um, with the white like case on it. Not like a big case, not like the cloth cases. It's like a silicone case. Um, I think it's so cute. I just have like the glass see-through jug and then the white like silicone case around it and I use it all the time. It's a bigger one. It's not like this like small one. It's like a larger uh, water bottle. So if the person goes to like the gym a lot, I feel like that would be acceptable to get for a normal person. I don't know if they would drink <laughs> out of that um, just because I feel like it looks weird if you don't like go to the gym. I don't know. Um, you can decide. Um, the Lululemon fanny packs are so in right now. I love mine. I use the shit out of mine. I use it every day. Um, I just keep, yeah, it's perfect. So highly recommend that. I have black. Black's always safe to go for. White is on my list this year. You can also get it, you can get it on Lululemon or you can get it on Amazon. They have a ton of different colors and stuff. So highly recommend getting one of those because fanny packs are coming back and they're cute and I love them. Um, okay, shaker bottles in general, if this person goes to the gym a lot, especially if you're buying for a guy too, I feel like easy to kind of go for that. Um, Stanley cups are like so in right now. I have a one on my list and I have gotten it for a couple people um, as well. And it's like the 40 ounce ones. So it fits in the car holder and it has a handle on it and it's just really cute. It has a straw and everything. So yeah, definitely recommend that. You can get it on Amazon. They are a little pricey because they're so in right now. I feel like they're marked up because of that, but hopefully they'll have like a Black Friday deal or something too. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really good gift for anyone, but especially like dads, I feel like that's just something to get them. Uh, dads are so hard to buy for. I just feel like this would be a good gift <laughs> for them. Um, okay, burst toothbrush. I think this is an awesome gift. If Corinne is watching this, she's my client and uh, she's a dental assistant and she works at a dentist office and she, um, gave me this last year for Christmas. I think she gifted it to me. Um, and I had the subscription for like six months or so, but now I just have the toothbrush. Um, I love it. It's such a great toothbrush. And obviously she works at a dentist's office. So I'm like, I mean, she knows best <laughs> for sure. So I gifted that to a few people this year. I 
can't say it too loud because Andrew's one of them. Um, yeah, so I gifted that to a few people. Um, and I think it's just a really good, like, thing to have. And uh, it's an electric toothbrush, if I didn't say that already, too. Um, you could swap out the heads. So you could buy the little heads um, and swap them out when you need to. And they're not, like, super expensive. Um, it comes with a travel case as well, which is awesome because I use it literally every time I travel, which is nice. Whitening strips, teeth whitening strips. The Crest ones are the ones I use, but I think those um, come in handy. So if you're a person whitens their teeth. <laughs> I recommend that. Uh, so we just finished going through this Christmas gift guide for her. So um, yeah, I am going to move on to the Christmas gift guide for him now. Um, a lot of the stuff I just talked about could definitely be used for a guy as well. Um, obviously there's a lot of like unisex stuff, especially the home stuff and like work stuff and stuff like that. Um, accessories. Um, so I didn't list it again on this list, um, since it's in the same video. Um, but this stuff is specifically more for like guys now. Um, but there are some stuff that I will mention that I just think are good gifts in case we did miss it in the last thing. Let's dive into the for him Christmas gift guide stuff. So clothes wise, I think t-shirts are always good. Like guys just go through t-shirts so fast. I don't know what it is, but um, highly recommend getting a t-shirt or a few t-shirts for your man or whoever you're buying for. I buy my dad like literally so many t-shirts every year because I just feel like he needs a new, like a new wardrobe every year. <laughs> so that's what I do. Um, socks, you could literally never go wrong with socks for a man, a man you're buying for because I don't know what they do to those things, but the amount of holes I find in socks that guys wear is actually insane. Um, so I always buy like a pack of socks for every guy that I buy for. Um, a pea coat, actually my fiance just asked for a pea coat this year. And I think um, that's a really good gift, especially if your person has to like dress up for um, work or anything like that, or has to like look nicer for work or anything. Um, I think that's a really good idea. Obviously, I just got all black, um, but I feel like black is a safe bet to go for with color. A really good one I saw was Michael Kors, and I think it can be purchased from Macy's. Okay. Alphalete joggers and shorts. Um, if your person works out, Alphalete is like the go-to for workout clothes. I feel like great quality. They are a little expensive, I will say, but um, like you could definitely get cheaper ones from like Gymshark, but Alphalete, I just feel like nothing beats their quality. Lululemon button downs are another thing that were on his list, actually. Um, he goes into office every day, so he has to dress up. So if your person has to dress up a little bit more, I feel like that would be a good option. Um, I will say Lululemon is pretty expensive. You can definitely get um, button downs from a different place. Like Express has good ones too. Um, they're a little bit less expensive. Lululemon is just, he loves that brand uh, for those because everything is like a lot stretchier. Like it's made for people that work out. So like in their pants, like you could do a full squat in them or you can like actually move throughout the day and like the button downs and stuff like that. So I feel like it's kind of worth it for that. Home wise, we have the Ember mug that I talked about. I think that's a really good one. Um, I talked about that under the for her stuff because that's obviously you can get that for anyone. Also just mugs in general, you can get for anyone. Um, gaming stuff a gaming console if they don't have it i feel like everyone has it at this point but you can always upgrade them too like if they have a really old one um xbox is the one we have so i don't know i feel like everyone has that one i know there's like a ps5 one or whatever the heck i don't know um controllers and controller charging stations um i feel like those are all good gifts too especially the controller charging station um I think my brother has it and he suggested it to my fiance. So I feel like that's a good gift. Legos are fun. I feel like Legos would be a good gift as well if your person is, has ever done Legos or is into Legos. I don't know, my fiance loves Legos. So I uh, feel like that's always a good gift to get. It's like a good fun one. 
Okay, shoes, we have L.L. Bean moccasins, which I think I talked about before too. Um, that's always a good one. Um, for guys, I feel like it's just like comfy and for the winter, it's perfect. Um, slides are great, Athlete slides. Um, I don't know the brand that he has, but if I can find them, I'll put them on the screen, but any kind of slides I feel like will work. Coming more into like tech stuff, Air Tags, I got almost all of the guys in my family air tags last year um and i just feel like they come in handy a lot because the amount of times my fiance is like where's my wallet where are my keys like you can just put a little air tag on there and you'll always know where they are um and again i just got it for every guy it's not like super expensive so you can definitely get it um and i think they come in packs as well so AirPods are a good one and specific headphones I've talked about in the last thing too. So AirPods, Beats, I feel like are all good. Um, um, recovery tools. So uh, I think it's called Hypervolt has really great recovery tools. So they can be a little bit more expensive, but if this person works out a lot, I highly recommend that. It's always a good gift for guys. Um, the Aura Ring I also put on there. I know a lot of guys that have Aura Rings and love them, um, but you'll have to see what type of guy the person you're buying for is because some people won't want that and some people will. So um, I would bring it up lightly in conversation and see how they react. <laughs> um, okay. The last thing I'll have on here for category is accessories. So um, I talked about the car stuff, which I think is a really great, uh, like small gift, like the trash can, the gel cleaner and the coasters, I think are really great gifts. Um, the burst toothbrush, a really great gift, especially if your person doesn't have like an electric toothbrush. Um, Ridge wallet. I got these for every single guy that I bought for last year. I think they are so useful and everyone loves them. Like every single person that I know that has one absolutely loves it. So the Ridge wallet, highly recommend. Um, gym membership is also another one. Um, you can also get them like weights, like I talked about with um, females too, obviously. Um, you can get anyone these things. So if they have a home gym or if they're working out at a gym. So there's an option there for everyone. Hats, I feel like are good. Um, you just have to see if your person wears hats a lot. Alphalete has great hats. Gymshark has great hats. Um, yeah, pretty much any fitness brand has great hats. So go for that. Um, sunglasses are always good too. I don't like really buy sunglasses or use them a lot personally, but I feel like guys use sunglasses a lot more. So that would definitely be good. Quay is a great brand. Um, so I'll put that, or it, it's either Key or Quay. I honestly don't know. It's Australian brand, I think. It's Q-U-A-Y. Um, so I'll just put it on the screen so you guys can see. Um, protein, creatine, pre-workout, anything like that, if your person is into working out, I feel like would be a great gift um, because it sucks when it comes to that time of the month where you have to like go and buy your protein and it's like, oh damn, that sucks. Uh, so that's a good gift for sure. Um, gym bag, if they need a new gym bag, especially if they got one last year, they probably need a new one because those things like go pretty quickly, I feel like. After a year, it's like, okay, I'm ready for a new gym bag. Um, Alphalete has good ones, um, Gymshark, good ones, um, Nike has good ones, so I use a backpack, I prefer a backpack, so does my fiance, so, um, I feel like backpacks are better, but a lot of people like the duffels too, so you'll just have to see what they're using now, um, Okay, and then that's it for guys, um, for the For Him Christmas Guide. So I went through the For Her, For Him, and now we're gonna move on to stocking stuffers. So stocking stuffer guide, obviously we wanna keep things a little bit cheaper because it's not like a big present, but we want it to be small also in size so it fits in the stocking. So this can be hard. I don't know why this can be so hard sometimes, but this is like my go-to list for what I get for people. So I'm just gonna list them off. Um, deodorant, obviously, guy or girl, you can get that. Um, dry shampoo for girls, highly recommend. Um, chargers, obviously are really good. You can get, you don't have to get like the Apple ones. Like you can buy cheap ones from Amazon and they literally work just as good. So you can definitely get those for a little bit cheaper. Um, poopery, I'm just gonna say it. Like I feel like every house needs it because 
no one wants to smell that. <laughs> so um, that will be a good gift, especially for like, I don't know, I feel like for guys that would be good. Um, body mist or perfume. I always use Victoria's Secret, like soft and soft and flirty or something like that. Um, that's a great uh, brand uh, for that, just like body mist in general. So that's the one I use. I've been using it for years. I love it. Um, socks are great to just like stuff in there and they take up a little bit more room. So if you're short, you can just stuff socks in there. Um, hair gel or hairspray. Um, I have my boyfriend he has like specific hair gel and like spray type stuff i don't know what it is or what it does it helps his hair stay in place i don't know i swear he has a longer hair care routine than i do um so that is very good to get to i just restock him there so he doesn't have to buy it because no one likes buying that stuff like i said um hairbrush if someone needs a new hairbrush or like combs for guys um makeup wipes i hate buying makeup wipes i hate using makeup wipes i don't even want to look at them so that is a very good gift um and they're not expensive so you can put those right in a stocking um face wash is really good to get candles if they're like smaller you can put right in there um car fresheners are really good chapstick is a great one. I feel like everyone wants some chapstick once in a while and never wants to buy it. Um, bath bombs, if your person uses or takes baths like that, I feel like that would be good. Um, tweezers and nail clippers, everyone needs like new ones. I swear these things go lost so easily. So that's a good one. Pencils or pens, if your person like writes a lot during the day um, or has a job that they have to do that for, um, that would be a good gift. Toothpaste, no one likes buying toothpaste. That's a good one. Mouthwash along with that. Floss along with that. Um, razors, that's a good one. Or shaving cream. Um, gum is good. Candy you can put in there. Um, maybe their favorite like snacks or whatever. Like Andrew likes Milano's a lot. So a little package of Milano's. Um, hair clips for girls. Headbands uh, I feel like would be good. Elastics. Um, blender like makeup blenders um i feel like that'd be really good they have these really cute cases like makeup blender cases um too for like traveling that would be good to put right in there they're all pretty cheap so that's my list so far for stocking stuffers so that's kind of what i stick with Hopefully that helped a little bit guys. So I have something for everyone, a different price range for whatever you're looking for. Um, and hopefully that will help you guys a little bit, whether it's ideas for you or for people you're buying for. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if this helped, if you guys like this kind of video, um, maybe what you're getting your favorite person or um what you're putting on your list or something like that too um just for more ideas for people um again everything on here will be linked below and if you are shopping through my amazon storefront just make sure you remember that i do get a small commission from it um at no extra cost to you um but you don't have to use that link you can just look it up separately if you don't want that either so that's totally fine um i just want to Put that in so everyone knows happy shopping i think a lot of the black friday sales are going on like literally right now so i wanted to get this video out as soon as possible so i hope this helps and i will catch you guys next time